ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. This is our Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday morning, the 21st of February. Got a big rain event unfolding across the Deep South for the next couple of days. In fact, this morning it is raining at our SkyCam site down in Demopolis. That's from the Demopolis Civic Center looking east. You can see the streets are uh, wet down below. Uh, so far, no rain in Jasper. That's our SkyCam there on top of the King Building. And from downtown Birmingham, thought we'd check out the old City Federal Building. You know, I used to work in the penthouse of that building back when I was a kid. The old WSGN radio, what a great site that was for a radio station. Of course, now it's being converted into uh, uh, condos. There's a look at the uh, water vapor satellite imagery this morning. You can see how things are starting to fire up in terms of rain and storms. Got some big convection down there on the uh, coast of Louisiana. And a pretty good-looking impulse over the southwest U.S., back over the four corners that will be uh, moving in here tomorrow. Now, uh, we've got a cold front that is uh, stalling out really pretty close to us. We note you've got 50s down to the south of the front, 30s to the north up in Huntsville. They've got 34, and Nashville's got 27. And, uh, of course, brutally cold up in the core of the cold air, and somebody's going to have some icing problems up in there, and there you go. Uh, you can see winter storm watches and warnings and winter weather advisories all the way from uh, a large part of Oklahoma up through north Arkansas, Missouri, down to western Tennessee, Memphis, they've got a freezing rain advisory there. An ice storm warning for southeastern Missouri, southern Illinois, Indiana, and northern Kentucky. And, and then winter storm watches all the way over to uh, Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. Big mess there. And in the uh, box, yep, that's a tornado watch. Uh, down to the uh, south, there's a look at that watch box. Uh, that includes a large part of southern Louisiana. So a uh, very active pattern there on the board. And there's a look at our radar this morning, the rain moving up nicely into uh, West Alabama, raining at 5 o'clock this morning, or 5.06 when this image was captured in places like Tuscaloosa, Greensboro, Marion, and Selma. And that will continue to expand. Now, in terms of the severe weather risk today, there is a slight risk off to the west, a large part of eastern Texas, all of Louisiana, southern Arkansas, central and south Mississippi, over into southwest Alabama, down around Mobile Bay, and again, the guys at SPC are keeping the severe weather risk south of here for tomorrow, uh, south of Montgomery. But there could be some strong storms around, as you'll see on the uh, guidance here. And here's the QPF chart, and boy, this is good. Some really nice numbers. This is suggesting rains of 2 to 3 inches for much of Alabama. And this is valid through Monday evening of next week, so this is mainly the event tomorrow and Friday, and we will welcome that rain. This is the 06Z run of the GFS, valid at noon today. This is at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. There's your uh, Vortmax off to the west over New Mexico. And at the surface, nice uh, big massive rain across uh, Alabama. It's going to be overrunning north of that front to over the northern part of the state. Uh, the better chance of any thunder today will be down south. Just periods of rain today and tonight. And that front should be moving northward tonight as a warm front. And then tomorrow we get in the warm sector. The trough is uh, rotating through here. And at the surface, a, a broad 1,012 millibar low shows up around Chattanooga. And there could be some pretty gusty thunderstorms tomorrow. We'll keep an eye on them. It's not going to be a classic severe weather setup. But, again, uh, I can't rule out the chance of a few strong to severe storms around here. Saturday, the rain is gone. Uh, we'll forecast clearing the high around 60, and then Sunday, look at that little uh, Vortmax. That thing's pretty strong uh, rotating through here. And at the surface, the air is so dry, we just don't uh, have any rain showing up there, and we're not mentioning rain in the forecast, but there could be a few clouds around on Sunday, and that might uh, uh, mean also that temperatures will not be as warm as we have in our forecast. I think we have 65 right now, the uh, latest guidance based on this strong trough coming through has 55 on Sunday. So we might be lowering that later today if the 12Z run looks like that. And there's Monday of next week. Uh, we'll be dry Monday. Here comes the next trough to the west. And then Tuesday, it phases up. And that looks like an active weather day. Deepening surface low, 992 millibars northeast of Indianapolis with a trailing band of showers and storms. And that could be 
Another strong to severe weather kind of thing there. So we'll have to watch that and then look at Wednesday. Whoa, Nelly. That's cold. Whopper of a trough over the east, the uh, 540 line, way off in the Gulf of Mexico. And yeah, how about some backwash snow flurries? You know, if this keeps up, I think there's no doubt we'll have to forecast a high only in the uh, mid-30s with a chance of morning snow flurries on uh, Wednesday. That'll be a shock to the system. Let's go trolling a little bit. First of March, a little trough rotating through here. That looks like a good round of showers and storms. Three days later, another trough rotating through here. Another round of showers and storms. And three days later, yeah, another one. Yeah, it's going to be active. As you can see, clearly uh, this pattern uh, keeps up. And by the way, I totally forgot to throw these in. These are out of out of sync in terms of the timeline here, but I do have these graphics in the uh, in the can here. wanted to show you the uh, instability. This is the surface base cape for Friday, uh, tomorrow. Uh, and uh, this suggesting the instability values will be rising pretty nicely. In fact, uh, this is suggesting instability values to uh, over 1,000 joules uh, down around uh, Demopolis and almost to Tuscaloosa there. Just, just a sign, that another reason we think there could be some pretty strong storms. The helicity on Friday, the better values northeast of here. So more than likely, if we do see any severe weather tomorrow, main issue is going to be from damaging straight-line winds. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Now, uh, I will probably unable to be, uh, I will not be able to crank out an afternoon video today because of travel schedule. we got storm alert tonight down in Clay County, but we'll be back Friday morning, tomorrow morning, and, of course, notes on the blog uh, even as we're on the road, uh, J.B. Elliott and the gang will keep the blog fresh on alabamawx.com. And we'll be live from Clay County uh, tonight on ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 from our annual Severe Weather Awareness Show, Storm Alert 2008. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.